Hey guys, what's going on? We've got an After Effects tutorial here today, so sorry I haven't been able to post one of these. These take a little bit more time and effort, but I'm going to do this one with uh, disappearing text today. So we're going to use track mats in After Effects. If you've never used the program, uh, what I'm going to do today should be simple enough. This is a very uh, complicated program at times, but if you just put in some time to learn it, it's one of the most uh, valuable programs that I've ever learned. So uh, let's go ahead. I've got a new composition created. If you need to create one, you can click this button and put in your settings. So mine's 1920 by 1080. I've got the duration on four and something seconds and a back a background color of white. So let's click OK. This is the one I've already got. I just created a new one. I don't need that. Um, but what I want to do is get a text uh, text layer and what I can do if I want to make it even faster is use control T I've got the shortcuts here for you and then we're going to click in the composition and I'm going to type uh, disappearing text okay control enter to place that and I'm going to go to the align if you don't have a line in this area the align panel what you can do is go up to window and align. That'll give you the options to align it center if you'd like. I'm going to center it and hold shift to go up and put it about right there. Okay, now what I want to do is get a new shape. I can use Q as a shortcut and I usually use a green fill layer or red, something that really stands out because what we're going to do is drag this shape uh, over top of our text and I don't want that color. so. How about we try again? Okay. Delete this shape layer. We're going to get a new one. Okay. Not sure why it's going gray, but we're going to stick with it for now. Okay. Just drag it in there and then we're going to go use shift to select both of these layers. Go back to our line and we're going to align to the bottom of, uh, of our layers. And the reason why that is, if I go to this shape layer, hit T for transparency and drop it down, we can see it's aligned it to the bottom most of the text. So we can align it to the bottom and then we'll select both layers and center them up. Okay, now I'm just going to have to eyeball it here a little bit. All right, so now we've got this. I want to take the opacity back up. Now it's very important that this layer is on top of the text. And usually what I do with these is I'll name it track mat, hit enter, and I'm going to go to this where it says track mat, click and go to alpha mat. And what that does is it will allow this to be seen through this shape. So now if I take the position of this text, I can use the letter P and this is my Y coordinates. I drop it down. It drops into, okay, the vertical space of nothingness. So basically, just to say what's going on here is when this is here, this is where the shape is. So if we take this off and bring this layer on, this is where the shape is. So what it's saying is wherever this shape is, that's where the text is uh, not going to show. So with this alpha mat, okay, I'm sorry, where it's going to show. Sorry, I'm probably confusing you. But let me show you what I mean by that. So if I drop this out... Okay, it's dropping out of where the shape is. So let me undo. Now if I take the text and I move it anywhere where that shape is, it's not going to be. Okay, so let's set some keyframes. We'll go to this text. We'll, we're going to hit P again if you don't have it up. And we're going to set a keyframe where we want it to be. Normally I find this is easier. So let's go to about eight frames. Set a keyframe there. Go back to the beginning. And we're going to drag it out of sight so now it looks like there's nothing on the screen but if I hit my space bar it comes into the screen so I'll play it again bring it in there now it's a little bit faster but let's highlight these and hit F9 it's called easy ease you can use with those and we're gonna click on this graph editor and highlight these and I'm gonna show you why we're gonna drag this over a little bit to make it come in a little bit faster. So we play it, see how it kind of comes in faster. All right, I like that. And what I want to do is also click on toggle switches or modes. We're going to add a motion blur. So these three circles and then make sure this is on that allows this to show. So now if I do it as it's coming in, it's got some motion blur and I'll put this resolution on full and you can watch what it does as it comes in. 
So it looks pretty good. It looks like it's coming out of nowhere. You can also do this with layers. Um, I'm sorry, with images. So if I want to bring these blueberries, hold alt, hold alt click, and then bring it down into the text. Okay, I can bring that in. Let's drop that into our track mat. Now it's going to be a little cut off. But we'll turn this off. Now I've dropped that into the track mat that we've had. So we're going to want to make that a little bit bigger. I've got my anchor point here. Okay. Let's go up a little higher. I'm going to bring this anchor point down here. That's going to allow me to scale it from the bottom. And I need to disconnect these. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna get that big. And then if I move this up here, I can scale it from the top now. The other way. There we go. Okay, so we'll take that. And that's gonna cover our entire blueberry. Now we can take both of them and bring them down. Now if I move my blueberries, hit P for position. We can move it outside of the shape. Okay, and I made it a little bit bigger. So let's fit it. Fit it around those. Okay. Now if we move it down, you'll be able to see that it go out of the shot. Okay, so that's a pretty pretty quick tutorial I hope um, still trying to get really efficient on the tutorial so I'd like it to where I could just come in here maybe three or four minutes show you on how to do something so I hope this was helpful if you have any questions leave it in the comments below and in order for me to make more videos I need more subscribers so feel free to hit the subscribe button and I'll make even more tutorials so you guys take care and I'll see you in the next one